Well, on Friday night I got some excellent footage of the moon using my telescope and some of the stuff you see in front of you as well as I took some um, pictures that I'm really excited about. So I thought I would do a little video and show you all how I was able to do it. Starting off, I have my 10 inch Dobsonian mount telescope right here and I also have um, several eyepieces and the one I used for the video is this Bodder Hyperion 17mm. To actually shoot the video I use the Canon Vixia camcorder. So these two both have um, matching threads so I was able to you can just screw on the camcorder like this. So what you want to do actually is put the eyepiece into the telescope for starters and go ahead and get it focused real well and kind of lock your focus in place and then you can screw on the camcorder and instead of just using um, automatic focus and exposure you want to switch it over to manual and using the manual mode you can direct the telescope onto the moon and then you just it gives you a little square and you click on the, the moon and it sets the exposure and then locks it and you do the same with the focus and that really gives um, much better results I think than letting it automatically focus. Setting it up basically I just move the telescope to where I know the moon's going to pass through the viewfinder and uh, let it run and so if you haven't seen that video footage yet um, just look below in the description and you can go ahead and, and, and watch the video. Now for the pictures all I used was, was my Nexus 4 smartphone and I can use any one of these lenses. I also have a 30 millimeter Superview GSO and but the one I've been using a lot lately is this Explore Scientific eyepiece. It's really great. It's a 20 millimeter uh, focal length and it's got a 100 degree apparent field of view. So, you know, you can, it's 62.5 times is the magnification um, of this eyepiece of my telescope. And the 100 degree field of view just lets you see so much. Um, you can see the entire moon. And so, what you do is stick that in your telescope and then you'll focus it as best you can on the moon and then just hold your smartphone over top of it. They do have um, mounts for your smartphones but I don't have one so I just kind of line it up there and you have to really fiddle around and move it around the angle until you get it just right. Sometimes I put a finger on the eyepiece to help me stabilize it and uh, then once you get the the moon in the in the viewfinder you might click on it to get focus and then go ahead and take your picture and so I'll take like 30 or 40 pictures and sometimes I mess with the exposure levels on the phone and uh, sometimes I get really good results and so this past Friday I got the best results I've ever gotten before it was a really clear night I think that's really important Hopefully you can take this video and if you have a telescope you can make your own pictures and otherwise you can go ahead and enjoy the ones that I took. Once again you can just check out the link in the description.